So hi, Benet. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak to me today. Sure, thank you. Good. So tell me a bit about the Tata Group, because we haven't actually really heard about you guys too much. So how about you start off with a general introduction? Tata Group is, uh, is a $65 billion global conglomerate. Um, we basically have uh, businesses in seven distinct uh, service areas okay. uh, with approximately 98 um, operating companies. The last count I had, it's kind of hard <laughs> to keep up, you know, we keep acquiring new companies all the time. Right. Um, and um, we, have a, we have a workforce of around 300,000 people across the world with uh, roughly around 18,000 people in North America alone that spans across multiple, multiple companies. Uh, including Tata Communications, right. Tata Consultancy Services, and other organizations as well that, that are part of Tata Group. Great, great, great. I, I have to admit, I'm surprised we haven't heard about you more considering how huge you sound. Yeah. <laughs> um, interestingly enough, with our recent acquisitions of uh, Land Rover and, uh, and Jaguar, uh, we've gained a lot of press, uh, primarily around Tata Motors, gotcha. uh, and also with Tata Nano being our uh, people's car, the cheapest car in the world. In fact, that's being launched next month. Right. Um, so that's that's kind of given a lot of uh, press in the in the North American market, specifically on the telecommunications side. You know, we have kind of in the process of expanding our managed services product portfolio, and and building our managed services globally. Um, so. In the, in the recent past, you've, you've heard a lot from us in terms of our portfolio growing and, you, and you'll continue to, to, to do that in the next uh, uh, several months. Great, so let's focus a bit, like you were saying, on Tata Communications then. So what exactly is it that you guys are doing right now? So Tata Communications, uh, who we are today, uh, is, is primarily, uh, you know, we've adopted the Tata brand earlier this year, back in February. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, we, we were called VSNL, VSNL International, okay. Teleglobe America, Tyco Global Network, uh, you know, Gemplex, various different acquisitions we have made over the years. <laughs> so we have kind of, you know, unified into a, a single corporate brand uh, to, to adopt the Tata brand. And where we are today in terms of Tata uh, communications is we are building our product portfolio, leveraging our, uh, our uh, a global transmission network by, by virtue of which we have uh, submarine cable capacity around the world, uh, and layer that on top with our IP and MPLS uh, network and we are building additional new managed services on top of it, such as managed hosting and storage services, managed security services, okay. telepresence, uh, CDN, uh, so on and so forth. Earlier this month, you made two pretty major uh, announcements, uh, the content delivery network as well as the global VPN. So can you talk first about the CDN? Sure, absolutely. On the CDN space, uh, we have uh, made a, a pretty um, significant and a strategic investment in uh, bit gravity. Um, approximately 11 and a half million dollars by virtue of which uh, you know we have the ability to to deliver CDN services to our customers mm -hmm. the the key value proposition there is that uh, for us to get their content closer to their end users so we have the bit gravity nodes deployed across our backbone across our transit routes in various different pops and uh, we have the ability to propagate the content closer to the end users okay Specifically in terms of the global VPN services, that's an extension of our uh, MPLS uh, network. Mm -hmm. So we are continuing to expand in new markets um, such as uh, China, South Africa, um, South America as well. Specifically in China, um, by virtue of our recently announced uh, joint venture with CEC, mm -hmm. um, we are rapidly expanding our MPLS footprint and thereafter we're going to be um, building our, our co-location and hosting product portfolio there as well. And likewise in the South African market as well, by virtue of our stake in uh, Neotel, we are uh, looking at uh, kind of expanding our, our, our hosting product portfolio in South Africa. Here at Tier 1, you did a presentation on hosting in a global marketplace strategies to integrate uh, global and emerging markets. So just starting off there, can you describe a bit about these you know, emerging markets? Where are you seeing growth right now? Sure, sure. Emerging markets, uh, if you think of them, is, is truly uh, you know, a transition uh, phase between the fully developed and the developing countries. Mm -hmm. um, and and the, the growth is primarily fueled in the Asia-Pac region uh, by India and China. Overall, if you, you know, according to World Bank, the key um, 
uh, countries where the growth is the, the BRIC countries, uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and Indonesia as mm -hmm. well. Uh, but specifically in the asia Pac region, there is, a, there is a lot of focus in India and China specifically. Right. What are some of these strategies that you um, wanted the audience to take away from your presentation today then? Um, primarily, you know, when, when um, enterprises in the Western world are, are looking to penetrate into the, the lucrative emerging market, um, you know, they, they are truly, the, the, the growth in the, in the emerging markets is, is, is fueled by having a, a solid partner strategy in place. Um, you know, there, there's got to be a partner who has, you know, the, the vertical knowledge of the industry. Um, they have customer relationships and they have, so to speak, feet on the, feet on the street. And that's where Tata Communications comes into play, where, you know, we provide the, 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 the in-region, in-country expertise uh, and enable the organizations in the Western world, both U.S. And, and Europe and other countries, to penetrate into these emerging markets. Good, good, good. Well, going back to uh, Tata Communications then, Deb, obviously you guys have a lot of fluid growth going on, so what can we expect to see from the company in the near future? On the managed hosting side, we are in the process of actually um, expanding our platform on which we deliver hosting services. We are in the process of adi adding uh, IBM AIX and uh, PCD's hardware AIX operating system, Dell servers as well. Currently, we support uh, Windows, Solaris, and, and Unix. Mm -hmm. On the on the services side, we are in the process of uh, working on database management uh, and monitoring services, uh, and and also a key area for us is virtualization that we are actively rolling out in multiple phases. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, dual site recovery is an, is another important um, service for us from a disaster recovery business right. continuity perspective that we are working on. Uh, on the data center build out, if you look at North America, we have. Um, fit outs happening uh, and build outs in New York and Santa Clara as we speak. Okay. Um, we have some expansions happening in, in Europe in, uh, in Highbridge and Peterborough sites. Uh, Singapore, we are building a greenfield data center grounds up. Uh, there's uh, space is very scarce in Singapore market in general, so we are building a brand new data center there. And India is where we have multiple facilities, greenfield facilities build out happening in okay. parallel in uh, in major cities, uh, including Delhi, uh, Chennai, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Bangalore, uh, to, to to name a few. Right. And specifically in terms of emerging markets in China, we are. Uh, you know, basically as part of our CEC joint venture, we are going to be going into um, the data centers in, we have two data centers in Beijing, mm -hmm. one in Shanghai, uh, one in uh, Guangzhou, and one in uh, Shenzhen. So regardless of whether you are, um, you know, in, um, in New York or in Mumbai or in Johannesburg, you know, you should be able to basically, from Tata Communications, get a level of service which is consistent across the board. So there'll be a lot of focus on that and building our managed services product portfolio. Fantastic. So thanks so much for your time. It was a pleasure getting to speak to you. Thank you. Great talking to you too.